Hello, this is Chopteen Chopte, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And this episode, actually, I spent a lot of time between the episodes. Voila! It's not the prettiest building I ever built. It's not even finished. And it's still connected to this. Actually, it will stay connected to this, but this part what building gonna be rebuilt in the same design language and i kind of sort of went into a sun temple kind of a way so yeah <laughs> that's the main uh thing also you as you can see a lot of machines are not present here and uh, all the medium voltage machines and I also did some new machines too. First, I made an arc uh, furnace. Arc furnace is actually a really simple thing. You recycle everything with it. <laughs> also, it's the best way of making annihilated... Uh, how to... Annihilated copper. Annihilated. I don't know how to pronounce it. Or... Raw fire. Also, our medium voltage machines. Some of some of the, uh, I made some of the low voltage machines equivalent as medium voltage too, because we needed them. And some of them are just for the quests. I took this battery buffer te uh, temporarily. It's used by miner at the moment, and I did some quests. Currently, we are... Ah, oh, by the way, I also make a uh, low voltage equivalent of these two machines. Now, I need to make two new machines. First, actually not machines, eh? they are thingamajiggies. First is this, Prospector Scanner. And I should get the quest, yes. And let's you and while it's ah okay you it doesn't use energy sorry okay let's show our uh, underground this is simply an energy uh, the fluid pipe and yeah there is generator and battery buffer for workshop we don't need constant energy a usage so about high up uh, we need to able to use them in short bursts so one generator and uh, four ba battery is enough it should be enough when we start making auto crafting etc etc it's gonna be the issue, main issue also uh one more update on here I made not logistics pipes, but project red uh, pipes. And did I just get some lag? And let's explain this. There is an item extractor chip. Uh, it's filtered as charcoal with whitelist. And here, I have turn responder chip only allows charcoal. And same again. And also item extractor chips, they are, uh, item extractors are push, pushing items from inventory. Item responders are getting items to the inventory. And we have another item responder chip for ashes and ashes go there. And I put a void upgrade to this. So yes, it's going well. We're going to abolish this guy. We will turn I use a super super tank here. And yeah, by the way, I put these blocks is the same blocks as different colors for different workshop areas because I want to color separate them. For uh, for medium voltage I put blue as in Aluminium, and I put dark grey as in steel. 
And uh, one more thing. Cops are back. And this uses these and advanced combustion generator and this. I needed to make another shape for that and voila the copter pack and it's actually a lot simpler compared to this guy coal jetpack and i just need to use diesel actually i can use crystal oil too there's also one more upgrade uh, updates that i have to do we have oil berries and this gives oil berry the oil berry is a source of oil so what we're gonna do uh, first is an oil uh, pro uh, production and by the way let's upgrade our copter pack and yeah it's much more fun and we have a thingy magic on us and it's actually a lot easier to control and actually let me stop that and get it to my inventory yeah uh alt control okay it has hover mode and Yes, it's going to be super useful when building. It's going to be amazingly useful when building. <laughs> and for the prospectors. Okay, this area should be okay. And right click on rock. Okay, I need to be uh, on rock. Okay. Oil sand or rain. And it's gonna be restarting. But yeah, I can find three ore chunks at the same time. And yeah, several will be rebooted, but it's not the end of the world. I was just I was just pl uh, planning to update you on these guys. And I'm gonna need to do a lot of building too. So, for you, I'll be right back in a few seconds. For me, probably the next day. And we are back. And as you can see, I made a, another farming area here, which just harvests oil berries. I have to crossbreed a few more. And I also finished the thingy here. Yeah, and this is our area and medium voltage area, uh, low voltage area. The maintenance shafts, uh, not shafts, uh, the maintenance uh, areas. And yeah, also I did a lot of crafting. And that's it mostly. Uh, Two rows are gone. Uh, these though, all those guys are going to be used somewhere else eventually. But currently, yeah. Also, all, I almost finished those two chapters. I just need to do this quest sometime. But yeah, uh, probably I will finish them in a live stream. Uh, and we put oily berries here. So yeah, it's not, it's fun. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do now is we have to finally process our oil. First, I need, actually I already made the necessary materials, not materials, uh, the machines. And they are all here. By the way, I I hear you. I use here brown roadstone, but I used light concrete here. I think brown roadstone is a bit faster. It feels that way, but this looks nicer. 
And for our first machine, we're going to use a fluid extractor. And for power, now, this also connects. Now, and we're going to need some item transfer. Actually, let's use basic transfer pipe. And let's make it. In the meantime, we plan our second friend, which is basic distillery. Let's put you and put this with fleet auto output. And these guys should be ready. I want to transfer items and the port screw. The nice, nice, nice. And everything should be ready now. Yes. And so with that, we should be able to make this. Yes. We just need fuel. And yeah. We have power. This is going to get in some oil. And fluid extractor. The slow. <laughs> it's a slow process. But it will eventually do the job. And why I'm uh, doing sulfuric light fuel first? Uh, because I need quest. I need quests to continue. Oil cell, oil cell. Yes. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. Good. And also this good. And we should have sulfuric light fuel cell. Yes, this part is ready. And now we need to get light fuel. And circuit four. Okay. And light fuel. Uh, apparently I need to hold chemical reactor too. Also, I need to hold these two combats too. This handles this quest. Okay, this is the part we are gonna need to focus on now. And also we are gonna need steam for that too. You here. Low voltage tank. Uh, by the way, I have to put this guy into this and yeah, so gas. Now, we need a source of hydrogen. Basic electrolyzer. From here. Okay. Those two have power. Now, we need to provide water to these two. And for oxygen, you come here. For hydrogen, you come here. And hydrogen is going to be the fluid, so fluid auto output. And yeah, we're going to need to provide water to this guy. And we have water. Now, we need to put it in one. And we need to provide... Let's put four for now. And what we're gonna need is some uh, way of transferring items. In the meantime, let's here and allow input. Okay. Extra gas. Yeah, not yeah, gas, gas. The having a gas it would be really interesting. And. You also allow input. And after it finishes, it should put the hydrogen here. Uh, it's slow. It's super slow, but eventually you're going to uh, overclock it. But the main thing here uh, at the moment is it's being passive. Now we need to activate the chemical reactor. 
Whenever you come to think of it, I I don't think we need this guy. By the way, apparently I finished this quest. Yeah, I forgot this exists. Okay, now what we're gonna need is two conveyor modules. One here, one here. And both of them are allow input. Just realized something. I need two outputs. Actually, we can just put one output down there, but I don't like it. And we have some refiner gas. And come to think of it, chemical reactor. What you're gonna use? Um, give me an empty cell. Okay, it's just going to give one empty cell. Good. This is the only confusing uh, one. And apparently we are starting to get some spaghettification here. As usual. But it's how a factory works. Now if I put two of you guys, you should be three. And for this, we are gonna have fluid auto output. And we're gonna have some severely, severely steam cracked uh, <laughs> refinery gas. And it's gonna take a while. And we're gonna wait for the rest of the quest line. But after that, we are going to have our first ethylene. And with that, we are going to get a tiny pile of carbon dust and ethylene. That's simple. We are, go we are go not going to need this guy to be uh, stored and gas turbine. We are probably going to need one more gas turbine. But yeah. Uh, it might be the last part of the quest line, and yeah, I just need to automate this part. And after that, severely steam cracked. Okay, how many sever severely steam cracked did I need? Eight. Okay, we have enough to complete the quest. And this Larry, I'm gonna need you. It's a lead. Three. And this is gonna... Blue dot output, okay. It's working. It's working quite well. This guy might be a bit... Need a bit fat to be a bit faster, but anyway. I can just put... A few more refinery gas here. And it's almost ready to drop the new one. So for gas, yeah. It's gonna wait for, yeah, this guy. And we are making ethylene. And after our ethylene is done, we are done with this quest line. And now, finally, it's time for our final machine. Actually, come to think of it, it's a really bad place. And a love input. Okay. And most of, mostly it's passive, just this part is not uh, fully automated yet. But, yeah, we are providing ethylene, and we're just gonna need four, two here, okay. And uh, molten polyethylene, I'm gonna put you in one, yes. So, there it is. Okay, we can use air too. 
Should I use air or oxygen? Oxygen is faster. No. No. It's the same amount, but oxygen is more efficient. Okay. We're gonna need a lot more oxygen production. So, yeah. The oxygen, by the way, put you in one. Is it correct? Yes, it's one. And we're gonna provide oxygen. It's our spaghetti. Spaghetti! Spaghetti and meatball. And voila, the most, actually I made a lot more uglier spaghettis in my entire career. So uh, yeah, it's not even the ugliest spaghetti I ever done. I'm not uh, worried about that, I just worried about this being efficient uh, way of doing things. And... I'm just gonna need a pump. Let me just get... Do I have any... I have one medium voltage. <laughs> oh, why the hell not? Uh, it's actually even better. Oh, no, 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 no. This is gonna burn. Is oxygen... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a bad idea. I think I wasted some. Or wooden fluid pipe is not uh, good with gases. Uh, and I do not have any spotting, so I will use steel fluid pipe. Tiny steel fluid pipes. Any pipe. I'm here. Let's do eight. Yeah, that should be enough. And if I put you here, here, here. And here. That's well, that was a strange uh, phenomena. What happened? Anyway. Oops. And I guess this should just do the trick. It was annoying, by the way. And if I put you back. Okay. You move more efficiently, I guess. And when you reach seven. Like this, you will have I still don't like the placements, but anyway, we're gonna need to do a few more uh <laughs> spaghetti to get the polyethylene, but anyway, okay. And the last thing is, we, uh, we, while we're waiting for molten polyethylene, and I will do something interesting that I usually do not do. I will make item conduit, and I'm gonna need pol molten polyethylene for it. Uh, anyway, let's make this plate. And I have some molten polyethylene. So I need, yeah, medium voltage assembler. And electron fluid pipe. Thank you, thank you. Uh, electron item pipe, sorry. And do I have any small, uh, 
small electromite pipe. Do I have any electron? Yeah. Let's make small electron item pipes. It, it shouldn't be enough for now, but not tiny. Small. Yeah. We need a few more electron, but elect making electron is super easy. You just need few gold. Let's get 16 and few silver. And in the meantime, what was I waiting for? Okay. Also, I think this. And alloy smelter, thank you. Advanced assembling machine. Oops. Which circuit was it? Ah, I, uh, it was circuit the so. Yeah. And two more. I will also have. Uh, planning to finish that quest part. So, the last four and a diode's quest are again done. Molten polyethylene. I think I have enough. No, I don't have enough, but I have enough with. These guys. So, molten polyethylene. Okay, now it detected. Ah, we have polyethylene. And now I have item conduit. And I think I'm gonna need filter for it. And how are we gonna handle this? Priority insert item filter. Can I put no I'm I need to make item filter for it. Uh let me just look at the item filter, basic item filter. Okay. So we are gonna make it next episode. This episode, it's not going to be done. Uh, in the meantime, I will probably do these guys. And these guys. And these guys. But yeah, we have our polyethylene production. And do I have any more low voltage fluid tank? I'm gonna need a bigger tank. Or... Molten polyethylene. And yeah. It's gonna be a, a actually Do I need that much hydrogen? Yeah, I'm gonna need I will need that much hydrogen. And yeah. We will need to make some uh, thingy magickies, but uh, currently it's cash. I just need to provide a few extra steps. So, this is Crafty, and have a nice day.